is one of the greatest technological challenges humanity has ever faced. Get it right, and it holds out the potential for producing almost unlimited supplies of energy pretty much forever. It is on the brink of unlocking a power humanity has chased for decades. Nuclear fusion. How can something so small become the key to infinite energy? At first glance, a magnet seems ordinary, almost insignificant. It holds a note on your fridge or a souvenir from a trip long past. Yet, hidden in its invisible force, lies a world-changing potential. From smartphones to power plants, magnets shape the rhythm of modern life. They move, guide, and contain energy in ways we rarely notice. But soon, they could help humanity tap into a power as immense as the sun itself. Magnets in everyday life. Magnets might seem small and ordinary, like the ones holding notes on your fridge. Yet, they are among the most important parts of our modern world. They are everywhere, inside smartphones, cars, computers, and even power plants. Without them, many of the devices we rely on daily would stop working. There are two main types of magnets, permanent magnets, keep their magnetic force without electricity. Fridge magnets and neodymium magnets are good examples. Electromagnets, on the other hand, only work when electricity flows through a coil of wire. These appear in MRI machines, cranes, and remote switches. Magnets are crucial because they convert energy from one form to another. They make motors run, help store data, and even transmit sound. From simple household devices to advanced technology, magnets quietly power our lives. Their invisible force is small, but has an enormous impact on the way we live and work. Types of magnets. Magnets are all around us, even if we rarely notice them. Take a smartphone, for example. Inside, tiny magnets help the speakers produce sound and stabilize the camera for clear pictures. They also guide electrical signals on the motherboard with precision. Magnets appear in many other everyday devices too. Computers, refrigerators, headphones, and electric motors all rely on them. In motors, they convert electrical energy into motion. In hard drives, they store vast amounts of information. Without magnets, much of modern life would stop. There are two main types of magnets. Permanent magnets, like fridge magnets or neodymium magnets, keep their magnetic force without electricity. Electromagnets, made from coils of wire, generate magnetism only when electricity flows. These appear in MRI machines, lifting cranes, and remote switches. Each type plays a vital role in technology, helping machines move, store information, and operate safely. Magnets may seem small, but their impact is enormous. Rare Earth Magnets and Geopolitics Today, the strongest magnets are made from rare metals like neodymium or samarium. These rare earth elements are essential for powerful permanent magnets. Currently, China controls more than 90% of its processing. This gives them major influence over global technology, from electric cars to wind turbines. Many countries are now looking for their own sources of rare earths. Europe, for example, has promising deposits in Norway that could reduce dependence on imports. But mining and producing magnets is complicated and expensive. Scientists are also exploring new materials. One example is iron nitride magnets. They could become a strong alternative without relying on rare metals. However, making them is very difficult. They are unstable under strong magnetic fields and need more research. Developing these new magnets is not just a scientific challenge. It could reshape industries. Companies producing electronics or cars would be very interested in stronger, more efficient, and cheaper magnets, making this field one of the most exciting areas of modern technology. Next generation magnets iron nitride and alternatives. Superconducting magnets are among the most powerful tools ever created by humans. 
They work only at very low temperatures, but in return, they can generate magnetic fields far stronger than any ordinary magnet. These extraordinary magnets are at the heart of nuclear fusion, the same process that powers the sun. Fusion requires fuel to reach temperatures over 100 million degrees Celsius, far too hot for any container to touch. Superconducting magnets create an invisible magnetic cage that holds the plasma safely, keeping it from touching the reactor walls. The ITR reactor in France is building the largest superconducting magnets ever made. These massive magnets are designed to control the plasma precisely so fusion reactions can happen steadily. Meanwhile, private companies like Commonwealth Fusion Systems, working with MIT, are developing high-temperature superconducting magnets. These can operate at warmer conditions, which makes cooling easier and reduces energy costs. At the same time, they can create stronger magnetic fields, enabling smaller and more efficient fusion reactors. These developments show how crucial magnets are for the future of energy. From holding plasma hotter than the sun to powering smaller, cheaper fusion systems, superconducting magnets may soon help humanity unlock nearly limitless clean energy. Superconducting magnets and nuclear fusion. Beyond ordinary and next-generation magnets, scientists are working on something far more powerful – superconducting magnets. These are not like the magnets in your fridge or phone. They only work at extremely low temperatures, close to absolute zero. But when they do work, they can produce magnetic fields so strong they could lift enormous objects with ease. Superconducting magnets are essential for nuclear fusion, a process that powers the sun. In fusion reactors, light atomic nuclei combine, releasing massive amounts of energy. To make this happen on Earth, the fuel must be heated to over 100 million degrees Celsius. At such extreme temperatures, no container can hold it. That is where superconducting magnets come in. They create an invisible magnetic cage that confines the super-hot plasma without touching it. One of the most ambitious projects in the world is the ITER reactor in France. More than 30 countries are involved in building it. At its core is the largest superconducting magnet ever designed. This magnet, called a central solenoid, will generate an intense magnetic field to control the plasma. The goal is to achieve a controlled fusion reaction that produces more energy than it consumes. Scientists hope the first plasma will be ignited by 2033, but the path is full of technical challenges and delays. Meanwhile, private companies like Commonwealth Fusion Systems, in partnership with MIT researchers, are developing advanced high-temperature superconducting magnets. These operate at warmer conditions than traditional superconductors, making cooling simpler and less costly. They also allow even stronger magnetic fields, which could shrink the size of future fusion reactors and make them cheaper to build. High-temperature superconducting tapes are another breakthrough. They can carry enormous currents almost without resistance. With these, smaller, more flexible fusion reactors may become possible. The technology is still in development, but it offers hope for a future where clean, nearly limitless energy could be a reality. Magnets, invisible and often overlooked, are now at the center of humanity's quest to replicate the power of the stars. From guiding electrons to holding plasma, their evolution could change the way we generate and use energy forever. Challenges in fusion and the future of magnet technology. Magnets are everywhere, even if we hardly notice them. They are in smartphones, helping speakers produce sound, and cameras stabilize images. Computers, headphones, and electric motors all rely on magnets to convert energy from one form to another. Hard drives use magnetic fields to store data safely, while electric generators use them to produce power. Without magnets, much of modern life would stop. There are two main types of magnets. Permanent magnets, 
like fridge magnets or neodymium magnets, keep their magnetic strength without electricity. Electromagnets, on the other hand, only produce a magnetic field when electric current flows through them. They are used in cranes, scrapyards, MRI machines, and automatic switches. Today, the strongest magnets are made from rare metals like neodymium or samarium. These materials are critical for technology, from electric cars to wind turbines. The availability of these rare metals affects innovation worldwide, and countries are searching for alternatives to reduce reliance on limited resources. Everyday impact and the expanding role of magnets. Even with the most advanced magnets, making nuclear fusion work is not easy. The main challenge is to produce more energy than the reactor consumes. So far, this has only been achieved in small experiments. Containing plasma, which is hotter than the sun, is extremely difficult. It twists, moves, and sometimes escapes, even from the strongest magnetic fields. Cooling superconducting magnets is also a major hurdle. Traditional superconductors need temperatures near absolute zero, which makes the system complex and costly. High temperature superconductors offer hope. They can operate at warmer conditions and create even stronger magnetic fields. This could allow smaller and more affordable fusion reactors. Every small improvement in magnet strength or stability brings scientists closer to practical fusion energy. At the same time, magnets continue to improve technologies we use every day. Electric cars, wind turbines, and medical devices, showing that tiny invisible forces can have enormous effects on energy and modern life. Magnets may seem small and ordinary, but they are shaping the world in ways we rarely notice. They power our phones, cars, and medical devices. They lift, guide, and store energy. And now, they may help unlock the energy of the stars through nuclear fusion. The journey is long and full of challenges, but every improvement brings us closer to a future with clean, limitless power. The invisible force of magnets connects our daily lives to the frontiers of science. Sometimes, the smallest things have the biggest impact. 